Once upon a time, not so long ago, there was a boy named Walter. And his story begins on the day that his class was taken to the library to learn how it worked. It was a long, confusing day. And when he went to bed that night, Walter didn't know which end was up. And the sleep he slept was very odd indeed. First of all, there was something standing on the pillow, not an inch from his nose. Excuse me, but aren't you a lightning bug? Certainly, but not an ordinary garden type. I am a great reader. In fact, I even carry my own light, so I can read when it's dark. My name is Quickwick. Nice to meet you, Mr. Quickwick. Walter, I've come to help you. Help me? How can a little bug like you help me? Oh, well, if you're going to be rude, we'll just forget it. Good night. Wait, I'm sorry I was rude. Don't go. Okay, I accept your apology. Now, jump out of bed and get dressed. We're going on an adventure trip, you and I. Where? Where? Any place under the sun. From India to France, from the bottom of the sea to the moon. Wow, do you know how to get to those places? Do we need a map? Sure we do. A very special map. And I'm going to show you how to read it. Come on, we're going to the library. Library? Books? What about going on our trip? Just follow me, kid. After I show you about the library, you'll be able to travel anywhere in the world during any period in time, and all in your imagination. Are you sure? In books? To tell you the truth, I'm a little turned off books. My class visited the library today, and man, I don't know which end is up. I know. That's why I'm here. Now get dressed and come with me. There are different kinds of libraries, Walter. But this is the kind you'll see most often. It's called a public library. And anybody who lives here can take out books free. All you need is a library card. It also happens to be my home, which makes it important, too. I already like it better than I did before. Stick with me, kid, and you'll like it even more. I'm going to give you my own special $2 tour and talk to you about things in a way that makes sense. Now, any time I say something you don't understand, you stop me right there and ask me what I mean. Check? Check. First thing to remember about a library is that it is a house of books. Books that are here for you to borrow and take home and read and bring back when you are finished so that other people can read them. Check? Check. And it has more than books. It has records, cassettes, films, and film strips. And you can borrow them, too. There are even times when you can hear stories or see movies. Are all libraries the same? Pretty much the same. Some are bigger, some smaller, but basically the same. Main libraries, branch libraries, school libraries, and even ones on wheels, called bookmobiles. Now this is called the juvenile room. That's a fancy name for children. As you can see, it's full of books. And different parts of the room have different kinds of books. What makes them different? They look the same. Only on the outside. They're different inside, and with the help of your imagination, they can take you anywhere in the world. Now, right here on this side of the room, along these two walls, is the fiction section. 
Do you know what fiction means? No. Fiction means a made-up story. The kind that happens in the imagination first. Make-believe. And that's the kind that's better than television because it makes pictures inside your head. And you can call these pictures back any time you want to without even turning a knob. Colored pictures. Better than the best colored television. Fiction. Make-believe. Along these walls. Now, do you see that desk over there? With the lady behind it? She's a librarian. And when you find the book you want, you take it over to her with your library card, and she'll lend it to you. Then she'll make some marks on a card to tell the library who has that book. Now, that's called a charge desk, right? A charge desk, right. And then I take the book home? Yes, but you must be careful not to tear it or get it dirty because other people will want to read it after you're finished. And when you want to bring books back, you go to the other end of that same desk. The lady there will put marks on your library card that tell the library you brought it back. Suppose there's a book I want and another kid gets it first. A well, good question. In fact, a very good question. You'll still get that book when the other kid returns it. All you have to do is write the name of the book on a piece of paper called a reserve slip and give it to the librarian and she'll send you a postcard or call you when the book comes back. That's called reserving a book. Say it. Reserving a book. Now I'll tell you about the different parts of the children's room. Your library at school will be almost the same. I told you about the fiction books, the make-believe stories, and they're here. Now in the rest of the room are books full of facts. Stuff that isn't made up. Real things. Later on you'll get work to do at school that will make you go to those books to find out what you have to know. Anything from how rocks are made to the best way of feeding a puppy. These books are called nonfiction. And there are lots of different kinds of them, as you will see. Now let's leave the children's room and take a look around the rest of the library. Here, near the door, is a desk just like the one you saw inside where they charge out books and return them. Works the same way as the desk in the children's room. In fact, if the children's room is closed, you can return your books here, too. All right. And in this big room are the fiction shelves, the make-believe stories for grown-ups. Because when you get the reading habit, you keep it. It's something you never lose. It'll give you pleasure all your life because you'll keep on making pictures in your head so that you're never lonely or bored. And just like in the children's room, out here are lots of other sections where nonfiction books are kept. Books full of facts. Everything from the birth of the stars to what happens on a moonwalk. Books about carpentry, deep sea diving, card games, hurricanes, and flowers. Golly, so many thousands of books. Do you think I'll ever be able to find my way around? Sure. First, we'll visit all the different sections of the library and see what happens in each one. Tonight? Oh, no, we've done enough for one time. I'll visit you again. But when you're in school tomorrow, go to your library there. I'll bet you'll find it's almost the same as here. Okay, I will. Good night, Mr. Quickwick. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. <laughs>